my name is Kerioth, and there is only one thing wrong with this mega new Inquisitor. Before we get stuck in, Happy New Year! It's 2022! It's time for everything to be different and not at all the same, because that's how New Year's work, that's what we do. Uh, we have a nice start in terms of tasty, tasty hints and teasers, which we will go over tomorrow, but before then, we do have straight away a new model, a new miniature, which is kind of perfect for me, personally. Uh, it has one minor issue, which is that it is limited availability, which is a shame because, well, look, we've got Erasmus Cartavolnus, I'm probably not pronouncing that last name right, an Ordo Malleus Inquisitor, and he looks absolutely immense. 300 years he's been doing this, and it shows. I mean, look how good that is. Oh, it's such a good Inquisitor. We've got a good number of purity seals there, massive Inquisition icon on the uh, the back of the power pack there, with some interesting, like an interesting kind of, almost looks like a flattened design, like a slim power pack on the back. The vents are like closed off, which is cool, and a massive sword that says Exterminatus M... We don't know what's at the bottom. No idea. <laughs> we'll have to... Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll say. Maybe there'll be some sort of law which will explain what the rest of the sword says. I don't know. But he's stabbing some sort of evil book, and it looks class. You know what? I'm, I'm good with this base. There's not a rock in sight. There's no rock. Instead, he's stamping on a book. Now, yeah, you should respect books. You shouldn't destroy books. Books are a source of knowledge, and as such, they should be left alone. But in this case, I'll allow it, because it looks cool. I love that kind of scarf thing he's got going down the side of the coat as well. The armour looks really, really cool. There's, there's a nice kind of, like... It looks like there's a bit of kind of like filigree on the on the pauldrons, which is nice. There's also a nice bit of iconography, but it's not like overwhelming, which is just as well, I think. With the coat, the fact that the armor is kind of nicely decorated along the edges, but not like absolutely covered in, in detail, I think that works a lot better because there's quite a lot of like... There's a lot of folds and stuff in the in the uh, in like the robe itself. Like if you look at the arms, there's kind of a lot of folds in the arm kind of area for the material. I think it would be a bit too over the top if they went absolutely insane with like details and icons and the like. But I think that's a pretty perfect mix. It also means that you're not like distracted from the massive two-handed sword with the writing on it. And he does have a bionic hand as well. Although it looks like I think it's a three-fingered bionic hand. Which is again kind of a cool detail. I like that. The back of that like coat. I don't. I keep saying coat or robe interchangeably. That's mostly because I don't know which it is. <laughs> I mean, it could be both. You can have both, right? Because it seems like there's a bit of material that goes under the armor, like uh, under like where the shoulders are, and at the front. So like the belt goes over the top of the uh, over the top of whatever it is, and it's also got a dangly bit down the front, which to me feels more robe like. But then again. It also could just be a coat with a bit of extra cloth. Who knows? It doesn't really matter. The important thing is that I like the uh, the like the thing at the back where the split is. So you've got that kind of segmented Inquisition symbol again. All the writing down the bottom. I mean, really, this is just a really solid Inquisitor. This is a really good Inquisitor model. I think I think we could do more of this. To be honest, getting a new Inquisitor is kind of a big deal, <laughs> and I'd like to see more options for that. Inquisitors are one of the coolest parts of the 40k universe, and frankly, in terms of model line, I think I think they're all pretty much getting on a bit. I mean, the more recent ones... What are the more recent ones? We've had Inquisitor... I want to say Drax, but I don't think that's actually a name, is it? The uh, the bold lass with the little Xeno dragon. We've got that. I'm struggling to think of any others that we've had all that recently, in terms of 40k Inquisitors. We had the Witch Hunters in Age of Sigmar, which, you know, you can, you can convert, but it's not really the same thing, is it? Apart from that... I'm struggling to think of any others, any any like more recent ones. Anyway, this is a really good example, and I'd love to see more of them. Also, also not a bad head either. The head's okay. Admittedly, switching that out for something that is a helmet looks like it'd be a bit tricky. I suspect that the way that this model goes together, that head is just in there. That would make the most sense, wouldn't it? Although, hmm, actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe the maybe the uh, hood goes over the top of the head. So, like, the head is separate and the hood is separate? It could be that it's that way. That would make for an interesting join, though. Maybe where the hood kind of bulges out, just above the pauldrons, maybe that's where it joins. I mean, the head isn't too bad. I would much prefer an, an armoured helm. Like, the, the actual power armour itself 
looks kind of... It almost looks like Mark III inspired in a way. You've got that kind of segmented plate look down the front. Um, the legs look a bit closer to kind of... Like vaguely sort of Mark III than any other Mark of armor. So it would be cool to have like that, that kind of grilled helm on top. But the head isn't too bad. The head's okay. The lens is a nice detail. Like that bionic eye that's, that's plugged into him. It looks good. Now it's worth pointing out that due to the nature of this new Inquisitor, so there's a new Cruel Boy boss, and I mention both of these because they are, as you can see, store anniversary. This is the one thing that is bad. The Inquisitor himself looks really, really good, and I really like it, but it is a limited availability thing. So, for 2022, they will both be available on the weekend of your store's anniversary, and for the next seven days afterwards. And I don't believe that this is going to be something that you can get online. So, whilst he does look grand, whilst he does look really good, this is not going to be an easy model to get your hands on. Really, that's my only complaint. That's the only thing I find disappointing about this, because I think overall, it's a really well-sculpted model. It looks really good. It's perfect for an Inquisitor. It looks absolutely on-brand, on-point, and I would like to be able to get my hands on it. But, of course, them being store anniversary models means that there is, like, scarcity built in. You need to be close enough to be able to get one. Now, luckily, there are quite a few people who will pick stuff up for other people so like there's groups and stuff uh, on facebook and on discord i'm sure as well where you can look out for these things and go i would really like this if you are near a store that has an anniversary could you pick it up for me well i mean technically all stores will have an anniversary but you get what i mean um like would you be able to pick it up i know that groups like that do exist so it may be worth having a look at that if you're going to try and get hold of this because the way it works is it's just kind of it all kind of rolls around one after the other and if you're not close enough then you're just not going to get your hands on one they're not even like i don't think they're even like produced like super limited in numbers necessarily it's more just getting to where they're being sold because they're not available online and they may well appear on ebay they usually do stuff like this but that'll be for scalper prices instead find you a friend or find you a, a fellow a fellow collector who lives near a store and just do it that way if they're prepared to uh prepared to take some money for shipping and they're going to pop into the store around that time, then get your hands on one that way. Don't go the, don't go the route of paying the scalpers, because the scalpers can get lost. 2022 is, we say no to scalpers in 2022. Um, actually, we say no to scalpers all the goddamn time, it just doesn't stop them doing it. Anyway, I quite like that. I like it, I would like to get my hands on it. Question is, what do you think? Like the new Inquisitor? Dislike it? Do you just dislike the fact that it's a store anniversary one and as such is difficult to get hold of? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like, don't click it if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can use to support the channel if you'd like. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.